CRTV took in some of the racing at the Immunity FX 2011 Canadian Road Championships being held this year in the area of Burlington, Ontario. The action started in the village of Bell Fountain on June 23rd with the elite individual time trials. The women's course was 27.6 kilometers, while the men's was 43 kilometers on a route that consisted of country roads and rolling terrain. And from all reports, riders were extremely positive about this year's course. The women's elite race was held in the morning and first place was taken by favorite Clara Hughes of Equip de Quebec, with Tara Witten of Tipco to the top in second and Ray Christie Shaw in third. The under-23 women's time trial was won by Denise Ramsden of Jividerm Specialized, second was Leah Kirchman of Colavita Forno de Solo, and third by Virginia Gauthier of Equip de Quebec. We joined the action in the afternoon midway through the men's race, just as the only rain of the whole championship weekend poured for about 10 minutes, causing some difficulty for the riders already out on the course. The roads dried quickly and in time for the top elites to take the positions in the start house. One, go! Post a good time here today. Of course, Team Spider Tech, powered by C10, were out in numbers with 15 of the riders registered for today's time trial. All eyes were on the last few riders and especially six time and current defending champions Van Tuft and we were not disappointed. completed the 43 kilometers in 56 minutes and 29 seconds, taking first place and almost catching his teammate Zach Bell at the finish line. Second was Christian Meyer of United Healthcare with David Velu of Team Europe Car in third. In the under 23 men, Team Spider Tech struck again with Hugo Huel taking top spot with Remy Piletier Roy of Equipe de Quebec in second and Mathieu Dalsin of Jetfuel La Bicicleta in third. On Friday, June 24th, the action moved to the Milton area for the elite women's road race. 
the 12.8 km course has two main features that immediately grab your attention. The infamous rattlesnake climb up the Niagara Escarpment, which has grades of up to 15%, and then the Bell School Line descent back down the other side. The woman did eight laps, totaling 103 kilometers. Also riding today with us, we are very, very happy to have her back. She won the Canadian title for the individual time trial yesterday. A great Olympian, great world champion. Please welcome Clara Hughes. started almost immediately with two BC riders breaking away before the first time up the rattlesnake climb. McGregor of Juvederm Specialized was left. She led for almost the entire race with time gaps of up to five minutes. The catch took place during the last lap. And now intact, Veronique Fortan of the PK Express, HNZStrategic.com, and the current Quebec Women's Road Champion broke away at the top of the rattlesnake climb, crossing the finish line 18 seconds ahead of her nearest rival, Lex Albrecht of Givederm Specialized. Aaron Wilcock of Tipco to the top wasn't far behind, taking third place. In first place, and your winner, hey, au premier rang et gagnante de la journée de PK Express, HNZStrategic.com, Véronique Fortin. In second place, au deuxième rang, from Team Juvederm Specialized, Lex Albrecht. In third place, au troisième rang de la formation from Team Tipco to the top, Aaron Willock. <laughs> Mesdames et messieurs, votre podium des champions de Canada de Route 2011, ladies and gentlemen, your 2011 Road National Championships for the Elite Women's category. <laughs> Under 23 women's race, Denise Ramsden of Jividerm Specialized took first, with Leah Kurtzman of Team Manitoba and Colavita Forno de Solo in second, and Jasmine Glacier of Cycling BC in third. We hope you've enjoyed this CRTV report from the Immunity FX powered by Canaccord Wealth Management. 2011 Canadian Road Championships brought to you in cooperation with the Canadian Cycling Association. Watch out for more CRTV reports from national cycling events.